Here are the top stories for today, February 3, 2020. The health department reports at least 80 patients under investigation over the 2019 novel coronavirus. It also traces 74 contacts of NCOV positive patients. The Manila International Airport Authority or MIA orders Pinoy's flying from China, Hong Kong and Macau to self-quarantine. The army in Nueva Ecija allays fears of NCOV contamination amid plans to establish a quarantine zone. And over 100 earthquakes and other volcanic activity rock the Al Volcano as it remains on alert level 3. We bring you the biggest stories on the 2019 novel coronavirus or NCOV outbreak. Good day, I'm Rom Dufo. Welcome. The Department of Health the Epidemiology Bureau on Monday has traced 74 contacts of the two patients who tested positive for the novel coronavirus. The DOH earlier identified the two patients as 38-year-old Chinese female and 44-year-old Chinese male who were partners. As of 12 noon Monday, the DOH reported that there are a total of 80 PUIs or persons under investigation and 67 of them are currently admitted and isolated while 10 have been discharged under strict monitoring. It also reported one PUI mortality with a negative result and two confirmed cases with one mortality. DOH EB Director Ferchito Avellino said, the contacts of the two NCOV patients have already been advised to undergo home quarantine. The two patients took Cebu Pacific Flight's 5J241 from Hong Kong to Cebu and DG6519 from Cebu to Dumaguete City on January 21 and Philippine Airlines Flight PR2542 from Dumaguete to Manila on January 25. Meanwhile, the UH Undersecretary Eric Domingo said, the department will dispose the cadaver of the Chinese male as per medical standard operating procedures. Domingo advised the public to report to health authorities potential cases of the virus to avoid the spread of NCOV nationwide. Meanwhile, a press conference called Lagging Handa was held this morning, February 3, moderated by PCO Secretary Martin Andemar. Let's watch this. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte has ordered temporarily banning the entry of any person, regardless of nationality, except Filipino citizens and holders of permanent resident visa issued by the Philippine government, directly coming from China and its special administrative regions, Hong Kong and Macau. The Department of Health has released protocols in cooperation with other agencies of the government and has been providing up-to-date advisories to address the misconception and the virus and how to protect oneself. So we urge the public to stop spreading rumors and goading fears as well as ending the stigma against specific nationality or race. The Civil Aeronautics Board on Sunday ordered all airlines to ensure the full and immediate implementation of President Duterte's travel ban on all travelers to and from mainland China and its special administrative regions, Hong Kong and Macau. In a statement, CAB Executive Director Carmelo Arcelia said, all airlines operating to and from the Philippines are hereby required to fully and immediately comply with the President's orders. Arcelia's order came amid government's efforts to prevent the possible outbreak of the 2019 NCOV in the Philippines. Earlier Sunday, Presidential Spokesperson Sal Panelo announced that the President has ordered a temporary travel ban on tourists coming from China, Hong Kong and Macau in a bid to ensure Filipino safety from the deadly virus. The President has also disallowed Filipinos' travel to mainland China and its two special administrative regions. The President's latest directive exempts Filipino citizens and holders of permanent resident visas issued by the Philippines. Earlier, budget carriers Cebu Pacific and Air Asia Philippines announced the cancellation of flights to mainland China until March due to NCOV. Cebu Pacific also reduced its operations to Hong Kong and Macau, while Air Asia canceled flights to Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Macau. Meanwhile, flag carrier Philippine Airlines also earlier announced flights between Manila and China will be reduced to over 50% beginning 
February 1. PCAO Secretary Martin Andanar assures the public that President Duterte and his administration are exhausting all efforts to stop the 2019 NCOV from spreading further across the Philippines. Andanar gave the assurance the same day when Health Secretary Francisco Duque III confirmed the second case of 2019 NCOV in the country. Andanar said the President's directive to temporarily ban travelers coming from mainland China, Hong Kong, and Macau was meant to ensure that Filipinos are protected against the deadly novel coronavirus. He also reminded the public to do their part in preventing the spread of the virus by following the precautionary measures prescribed by the DOH such as washing of hands regularly and wearing surgical masks in crowded areas. Measures are in place to contain the spread of the deadly coronavirus. Janet Scavi tells us more about the government's efforts to curb the spread of this disease. The Philippine National Police is ready to assist the transfer of patients suspected of having the novel coronavirus to quarantine areas in the country. PNP Chief General Archie Gombo was said that while still waiting for the concrete action plans of the government, the PNP could offer its equipment to help in transporting and COVID suspected patients to quarantine areas. Gamboa assured that the PNP has enough equipment and personnel to assist in the government's measures of preventing the spread of NCOV as they still have N95 masks that can be distributed. Meanwhile, the Chinese government has donated a total of 200,000 surgical masks amid a reported shortage in light of two reported cases of novel coronavirus in the country. Presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo on Sunday bared that the Chinese government also offered to share medical information and findings on the NCOV. Earlier, the Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry pledged to donate 600,000 face masks to the country amid the reported shortage. The Labor Department also extends precautions in the workplaces by issuing a safety and health advisory. Dole Secretary Silvestre Bello III and joint employers to maintain cleanliness and make available disinfectants and sanitizers in the workplace and prevent workers from direct exposure to animals, environments, and objects possibly carrying the NCOV. The advisory also provided measures to guide employers for care of workers who are suspected of having NCOV, such as providing the worker with a face mask, isolating the affected worker in a separate, well-ventilated room, referring the victim to the company healthcare provider or nearest local health center or hospital, reporting the case to the health department, and decontaminating the work area with appropriate disinfectant. For the PNA Newsroom, I'm Janice Cave. Still to come, the Manila International Airport Authority or MIA orders Pinoy's flying from China, Hong Kong, and Macau to self-quarantine. The Army in Nueva Ecija allays fears of NCOV contamination amid plans to establish a quarantine zone. More on these when we return. So, you vet, nakapababa. Okay, ito. Ito na ito yung vet. Okay, it's below. Okay, facing down. Okay. And then, you put this there. Around the ears for ankle weight. Put it down. Pull it down. Then, press the metal. To anchor to the nose. Okay. The Manila International Airport Authority, or MIA, on Sunday said Filipinos arriving from China, Hong Kong, and Macau will be required to undergo a 14-day self-quarantine. According to MIA General Manager Ed Monreal, he was informed by the Bureau of Quarantine that arriving Filipinos will not be taken to a facility for the required quarantine but will instead be monitored by authorities from their own homes. 
Earlier Sunday, the palace issued several directives regarding the containment of the 2019 novel coronavirus acute respiratory disease. Among the directives was the temporary entry ban of travelers directly coming from China and its special administrative regions. In other news, more than 600 students in Buena Vista, Agusan del Norte, joined an information drive of the local government against the recruitment by the New People's Army. Lieutenant Colonel Francisco Molina Jr., commander of the Army's 23rd Infantry Battalion, personally delivered a lecture on the recruitment strategies of the NPA before students from grades 10, 11, and 12. Molina said the activity aims to enlighten the youth and save them from the tricks of the communist NPA. He also cited the support of the LGU and the parents, saying that concerted efforts are needed to keep the youths from NPA recruitment. He adds, the information drive for the youth is part of the whole of nation approach aimed at ending local communist armed conflicts. Government hospitals in Bulacan start control measures against the novel coronavirus. Meanwhile, the army in Nueva Ecija allays fears of contamination amid plans to establish a quarantine area. More on this and other news from the provinces from Laid Gabagani. Government-owned hospitals in Bulacan have started implementing standard infection control measures to safeguard residents against the threat of the 2019 novel coronavirus. Governor Daniel Fernandez said the provincial government immediately stepped up and mounted activities that will lessen the fear of Bulacanians regarding the deadly virus. The activities include massive information dissemination and the activation of the infectious control team in every hospital. In Davao Oriental, the provincial government of Davao Oriental is set to form an interagency task force on the 2019 novel coronavirus amid international alarm on its outbreak. Governor Nelson Dayanghirang will be convening concerned provincial agencies to discuss preparedness and proactive measures to stop the spread of the disease. This after the Department of the Interior and Local Government advised all local government units to form a task force to implement implement protocols and guidelines, and extend full cooperation to meet the world health emergency. In Nueva Ecija, the Philippine Army's 7th Infantry Division welcomed a proposal to make a portion of the province mega drug treatment and rehabilitation center as quarantine area for repatriates from China. Major General Leonard Agustin, commander of the 7th ID, met on Saturday with health officials led by DOH Regional Director Dr. Cesar Cachon, who headed the inspection of the proposed area for quarantine activity. Agustin, meantime, allayed fears of of contamination saying no persons with manifested 2019 NCOV symptoms will be quarantined in the place based on their briefings. For the PNA Newsroom, I'm Laid Kabagani. Up next, over 100 earthquakes and other volcanic activity rock the Al Volcano as it remains on Alert Level 3. And direct flights from Cebu to LA are set to return this May. The PNA News returns after these reminders. Kalma lang. Yan ang paalala ni PCOO Secretary Martin Andanar kasunod ng pangamba sa pagkalat ng sakit na 2019 novel coronavirus. Ayon pa sa kalihim, on top of the situation ang Department of Health o DOH, katuwang ang iba't ibang research agencies at mga otoridad. Nakikipagtulungan din ang bansa sa health at research authorities sa Australia, Japan at China para alamin kung ano pang dapat gawin ngayong may isa ng kumbirmadong kaso ng NCOV sa ating bansa. Dagdag pa niya, mas pinaigting na ngayon ng bansa ang containment at precautionary measures para hindi na lumobo pa ang bilang ng mga mahawaan ng sakit na ito. Naka-alerto rin ang Customs, Immigration at Quarantine Bureau para bantayan ang pagpasok ng mga travelers mula sa mga lugar na may NCOV sa China at kung sakaling kailangan ilika sa mga OFWs doon. Nakahanda rin ang pamahalaan para sa kanila. Sa katunayan, Ani Andanar, 
binuksan ang coronavirus hotline ng Pilipinas sa China para agarang matulungan ng mga OFWs doon. Pinayuhan din niya ang lahat na subaybayan ang mga anunsyo ng DOH. Nagpaalala rin siya ng proper hygiene para hindi mahawaan ng sakit. Pwede ring agad makipagugnayan sa mga barangay health centers kung makakaramdam ng sintomas ng 2019 and COVID. Sa anumang oras at pangyayari, dapat laging handa. Ito po si Benji Duranto. About 153 volcanic earthquakes, including two low-frequency earthquakes, were recorded from Taal Volcano in Batangas as of Sunday noon. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOLC, said the main crater is weakly emitting while its steam-laden plumes 50 to 100 meters tall that drifted southwest. Sulfur dioxide emission was measured at an average of 97 tons per day. Fevox reminded the public that sudden explosions, volcanic earthquakes, ashfall, and lethal volcanic gas expulsions can still occur and threaten areas within Taal Volcano Island and nearby lake shores. Alert Level 3 remains hoisted over Taal Volcano. Entry into the Taal Volcano Island is as well as Taal Lake and areas within a 7-kilometer radius from the main center is strictly prohibited. Filipino-Chinese tycoon Andrew Lim Tan has vowed to help Bacolod become a dragon city through future expansions of his own company. Andrew Lim Tan, chairman of Alliance Global Group Incorporated, received the symbolic key of Bacolod City from Mayor Evelio Leonardia on Saturday, February 1, as part of the major events of the 15th Bacolaudia Festival. Tan also received the symbolic key to the city and was also named Adopted Son of Bacolod and Honorary Mayor. AGI owns property Giant Mega World, which developed the North Hill Gateway along the Bacolod Silay Airport Road and the Upper East right across the Bacolod Government Center. Tan said that part of his company's vision for the two townships is to be able to contribute to Bacolod's booming tourism industry. Tan said they hope to soon invite the Bacolaudiat Festival to hold the major events and activities at the Upper East Township. The revival of the Philippine Airlines direct flight from Cebu to Los Angeles, California this year is seen to perk up the tourism industry in the central Visayas province. Residential assistant for the Visayas Secretary Michael Lloyd Dino said the office welcomes the revival of the Cebu Los Angeles flight starting May 2, 2020. The revival of the non-stop flights will also make Cebu and other regions in the Visayas easily accessible to American tourists and the Filipino-American community living in the U.S. West Coast. Dino said the revival of the Cebu LA flight has passed the aviation security standards set by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. He said that the new flight will sustain and perk up the growth momentum of the tourism industry which is described as one of the main economic drivers of the region and makes Cebu the tourism capital of the Philippines. Here now is the latest in our community billboard. At least 24 universities in the United States of America will participate in a college fair to be hosted by the U.S. Embassy's Education USA program in Cebu. The event is open to Filipino college students who wish to study in U.S. universities. In this year's fair in Cebu, Education USA is targeting around 1,000 students to visit the booths of different universities in the U.S. Visitors in the fair will have a chance to inquire about U.S. visa applications. Entrance is free. To sign up for the fair, interested parties may register online, while group registrants may send the names of students, teachers, and guidance counselors at manila at educationusa.org. Let's take another look at today's biggest stories. The health department reports at least 80 patients under investigation over the 2019 novel coronavirus. It also traces 74 contacts of NCOV positive patients. 
The Manila International Airport Authority or MIA orders Pinoy's flying from China, Hong Kong and Macau to self-quarantine. The Army in Nueva Ecija allays fears of NCOV contamination amid plans to establish a quarantine zone. And over a hundred earthquakes and other volcanic activity rock the Al Volcano as it remains on alert level 3. Thank you for watching another episode of the PNA News Syrup. To check more news content, check our webpage or follow the Philippine News Agency's Facebook and Twitter accounts. For more news about the government and how it serves Filipinos, look for these hashtags in all our social media platforms and websites. We are shown on the pages of the PCOO and its attached agencies. Also watch us on television on PTV4 and IBC13. And that's the daily dose of the biggest stories that you need to know from the PNA Newsroom. I'm Rom Dufo. Good day.